Well, let's pick up with the fees protest once again. Let's go back to Vitz, where our reporter Criselda Lewis was giving us an update before we lost that line to you, Criselda. Just fill us in what's happening there today. Well, Natasha, we were expecting uh, students to gather at this hour in front of Senate House where they want to hand over a memorandum of demands to the university. They're calling on the Vice Chancellor, Professor Adam Habib, to come and accept that memorandum of demands. But what we learned in the past few minutes is that he will not be accepting that memorandum. And the university, it seems, wants to send the Dean of Students, Dr. Puleng Lenkabula, to accept that. But the students are saying they will not accept anyone else but the Vice Chancellor receiving that memorandum. They say that when the protest started, the Fees Must Fall protest started this time around, uh, the Vice Chancellor had not been in the country. And when he returned, they say they accuse him of uh, giving media's, uh, interviews to the media and not addressing the students themselves. You'd recall, of course, yesterday that they planned to march to his campus residence and that did not happen uh, over concerns uh, expressed by police, security concerns expressed by police. So what these students are saying is that they want the vice, vice chancellor himself to come and accept this memorandum but clearly that's not going to happen of course we'll monitor the situation there to see what the, res the response from these students will then be but i think more importantly what the university has now done it says it's received a flurry of emails from concerned students who are saying that exams are just two weeks ago two weeks away they want uh, con to continue with the academic program and uh, they fear that if the exams uh, uh, do not get underway it will be a loss on their part so what the university has now decided, they're saying that from Thursday uh, for about 12 hours, they will then run a poll where students then will SMS whether they want the academic program to begin or not, whether they want the university to reopen or not. And that will certainly give an indication of how this university then proceeds. That process will be overseen by the Independent Electoral Commission. What the university is saying is that in comparison to the number of students who have taken to the streets, a greater number of students want the academic program to now resume, of course, over concerns that they might lose if the exams do not begin on time uh, in the next two weeks. But also the university has also indicated if that does not happen, then they have put contingency plans in place uh, to ensure that if it does not begin, the exams do not begin in the next two weeks, perhaps they would then push the exams a bit forward to a week or two. But they're saying that the exams themselves need, these students need to sit and write the, these exams. Zelda, has there been any negative response to the suggestion of holding a poll for, uh, for students to, to air their sentiment? Oh, well, absolutely. That's uh, the sentiment that we're getting from student leadership. They're now accusing the university of uh, wanting to divide these students by calling for this poll to take place. What the student leadership is saying is that irrespective of the numbers that have taken to the streets and are saying that the academic program should not resume, the university should instead come and address them on the issues of their concern. Most importantly, what I've already pointed out there, Natasha, is that they want the vice chancellor to come and address them on a way forward saying, failing which, if that does not happen, they will continue with their action because they feel that uh, the head of the institution had been away from the university when the action started and still has not addressed the students. So a very negative sentiment there coming from the student leadership who are saying that uh, are calling for this referendum or calling for a vote on this particular issue is nothing but a ploy uh, to uh, divide these students themselves. All right, Chriselda, thank you very much. We'll leave it there. Chriselda Lewis, live from Wits University.